my name is Dale Comstock. In the next three segments, I'm going to discuss combat mindset. In particular, I'm going to talk about the OODA loop, the Cooper Color Code for readiness, and autogenic conditioning. These are our mental tools that you can use to help improve your readiness um, in a survival situation or in a type of a fight or flight situation or uh, any situation where you're under duress or under stress and you need to act quickly and effectively. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is Cooper's color code for readiness. And I'll talk a little bit more what that means here in a second. But before I get into that area, I want to talk about combat mindset. What is combat mindset? Combat mindset is your mental attitude towards combat, towards fighting. It doesn't matter how many martial arts do you know, um, how skilled you are in, in your weapons craft. Um, none of that does any, does any good if you don't have the will, um, the courage, or the mindset to apply those skills that you've learned in actual combat. So, moving on. What I want to talk about first is Cooper's Color Code of Readiness. Which all you know, this all ties into combat mindset or, or, or mental readiness. So Cooper's color code of readiness uh, was created by a guy named Jeff Cooper many years ago, a former Marine. And basically, what he did was he he segmented um, different stages of readiness, and he and he categorized them in the, in the four different areas using color codes. White being you know condition uh, the 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 least ready condition condition up to red being the most extreme uh, ready condition. So let's talk about the white condition first, condition white. Most people are condition white. If you look around, if you're in public right now, look around. How many people are on their cell phone or texting or surfing the internet? How many people are in the restaurant? Look, you can see an entire family sitting there. Um, they're on their cell phone. They're texting. They're surfing. They're doing everything but interacting with each other. And they're certainly not looking around the restaurant or the public area. Uh, to see what's going on around. They have no circle of awareness. It's all fixated to that cell phone in front of them. So those people are, are a good example of condition white. Most people walk around in condition white, which is not a good thing. Um, you look at wild animals, for example, deer. They're never in condition white. They're walking around the woods. They're eating. They put their head down. They grab something. They, get their head, they stick their head up. Their ears come up. Their eyes open up. They scan around. They look before they put their head down again. They're always in another uh, higher level of condition, uh, uh, condition of readiness. So condition white, basically, you ain't ready for anything. Um, and you're, you're, a, you're a vulnerable little deer in the woods that's not paying attention. Then the next level, condition yellow. Now condition yellow, you know, basically means that you're in a position, in a condition where you're more alert, you're more observant of what's going on around you. Um, you know, you, you, you see something, um, you dial in on it, you analyze it real quick, um, you assess whether it's a threat or not or something to concern yourself with, and then you move on. Um, most people should be in condition yellow all the time. In fact, even in your sleep, you should be in condition yellow. Whereas it could, you would think that, well, if you're asleep, you're in condition white because you're not aware. Well, you know, um, being unaware is the same thing as being unprepared. However, when you're asleep, you are unaware. That's true. But you can also still be prepared, right? Um, <laughs> a good example is when I sleep, I sleep. I got guns all around my room, all around my, my bed. I've got alarm system. I got dogs. Um, so I'm still prepared, even though I may not have no uh, awareness because I'm sleeping, but I'm still prepared. Condition yellow, we're obviously prepared um, and we're aware of what's going on. And we're dialed in anything that's, uh, that is different in our environment that might cue us into something um, that we need to concern ourselves with or not. Next condition, condition orange. Now condition orange is a heightened sense of readiness, meaning, um, you know, there there may be an imminent threat. You you know there's something. You know you're you're at that point where you're ready to go into full combat mode, but you're not quite there yet. But you're on heightened alert. For example, um, you're laying in your bed, but you're not asleep at night. All of a sudden, you hear the glass break in the front window in your living room. Well, that might put you in condition orange very easily. Condition orange and teetering on condition red. Condition orange, you're like I just heard some glass break. Was that my front uh, living room? You get up, grab your weapon, you move out, start moving to the living room, and guess what? Now you're in condition red. Condition red means you're ready for an intruder to come that's inside your house and may engage you. So you're in that condition red, and you're ready to go back into condition orange if you need to. And once you figure out, oh, my window didn't break, it was something else, that somebody dropped the bottle outside, you'll start uh, going back down into condition yellow until you go to sleep and you end up in condition white. So those are your different conditions. So normally, what you want to do is always be in condition yellow at all times. Go to condition orange when 
you're in a situation where you need to be a little bit more aware. The threat's a little bit higher. You're much more vulnerable, and uh, and you want to have that. You want to be prepared to for anything. And in condition red is threats imminent. You're in a bad situation. You just don't know when it when it's going to go down, but you know it's coming. And you're in that condition red. You got your you got your weapon out pointed and uh, a finger next to the trigger guard ready to to uh, depress that trigger. So that's condition red. Now, you know we can't walk around all day in condition red. Just can't do it. In fact, if we do that, well, eventually we'll just become so desensitized to everything that we'll end up naturally drifting back down into condition yellow and maybe even condition white. Condition orange, same thing. We can't walk around all day paranoid, you know, at, at everything. Um, we're going to naturally have to relax. It's mentally taxing and the same thing. Eventually, you just become, you lose your focus. So, but condition yellow is something that we can all manage. And it's natural um, to be in that condition, to walk around, be alert, keep your head up. Don't do dumb things like sit up, walk around with your cell phone in your hand, you're texting and, and, and you're surfing the internet while you're walking down the streets or sitting in a restaurant or in a public area or anywhere that it could potentially be an elevated threat. You know, those are some things to consider when, when you're out and about is your, the levels of condition. If you can pass that on to your family members to all be that way, then you, in, as a group, as a force, you're just going to be that much more secure. You know, there's nothing more aggravating when I, I go out to a restaurant, for example, I see an entire family literally sitting there, everybody's on a cell phone, texting or surfing the web. They're all looking down, nobody's talking, nobody's looking around the room at any potential threat. They're not observing anything. They're not observing that one guy that's out of place and getting ready to pull a gun out and start, you know, start shooting everybody. Um, so, you know, if you can get everybody to cultivate that mindset, it's just like a herd of deer again, you know. You notice in a herd of deer, a, horse, a herd of wild animals, horses, whatever it is, um, you have animals always popping their heads up, looking around. They're scanning. They're smelling the air. They're looking. They're listening before they put their head down and graze again. As they put their head down, other animals lift their heads up. So they're always pulling security for the group. So there's always this awareness going on. All the animals only all have their heads down at one time, their ears back and their eyes closed. They're eating um, because they know their life depends on it. And that's kind of the mindset that um, you should take every day of your life because you just never know. That one time when you're not paying attention might be the time that you get jumped, you get mugged. You got to get kidnapped, uh, you get run over by a bus, you fall into a hole, whatever it might be. So, again, it's another tool for, for life. You can't walk around and go, I'm going to be in condition white, I'm going to be in condition yellow, condition orange, or condition red. It's really nothing more than uh, um, developing a mindset so that you're always in those kind of conditions all the time. And really, what we're saying, and what I'm saying is, always be in condition yellow, always be kind of in a, a little bit of a heightened sense of alert. Uh, alertness and then uh, be prepared to go into orange and then jump into full combat mode in the condition red if you need to.